Hi YouTube, this is White Venom here. I'm doing a review on the uh, we can see as the review on the Modern Warfare 2 ghost outfit or costume or loadout, so to speak. Um, this loadout was created officially about a week ago. I got the last piece last week and which made it really complete. Um, start off this costume idea started back in uh, January of 2011 where I went to the surplus store and got in a vest for a uh, movie Call of Duty movie which is on my Facebook page is um well I'll be up here as well because this is gonna be my first video so make that assumption um anyway um going along with this this uh, character ghost was in Call of Duty Mobile for two over three years ago He's been very, the character has been very, uh, let's say, uh, uh, what's a good word for this? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the character ghost has been very, um, very fulfilling in the uh, market for business and advertisement. Uh, he's been in t-shirts, uh, comic books, statues, um, masks, and um, some, um, yeah, that's pretty much it from their advertisements. But uh, going um, going more along with this, uh, this um, outfit is mainly half and half. Mostly Actually, I'd say 75 and the other 25, kind of in that range. 75% uh, of this is bought, store bought or online bought, and the rest of this is homemade or tweaked or customized to fitting the standards for uh, Ghost. Um, to start off, I'll start off with the jacket. The jacket I found uh, a couple months ago in a storage warehouse that we keep our winter stuff in. And uh, it came with a collar, not a hood. While the other one did, I was looking for a hood. A gray hoodie zip up. Yes. This unfortunately is not a zip up hoodie. This is a pullover with a just a zippy. It goes up there. there. Um, otherwise, it's a large, in my size, as you can see, it's kind of loose in a way and that's fine with me I don't have a problem with it but the main part is the difficult part was finding a hood now this is a fleece um, pullover fleece is getting it to right texture like this one it's very hard to come very hard to come by so the journey to have the hood made or finding of the hood was kind of difficult but kind of not going through the fabrics in Walmart they didn't have the right fabrics of fleece material but one day I did find a uh, uh, clearance for uh, winter jackets <coughs> excuse me so uh, I'm looking through I'm trying to find a fleece jacket of any kind and the only fleece jacket that there was there was a girls jacket so I had no choice but to buy the girls uh, fleece hoodie jacket. I know that sounds weird, but all I wanted it was for the hood. First off, the hood it was the right material of fleece, but not in the same color. It was a dark, 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 dark gray, which kind of helped, kind of not. So what I did was I, I chopped off the hood part and spray painted it enough to get it just like uh, the color shown here not a nice light but dark gray kind of like how ghost wears ghost wears a light gray um, hoodie but this is just as close to it really anyway uh, moving on zippers yes are from Walmart super glued so yeah I, I mean I still need to get um, in a few little crevices is this is that are starting to pop out again from we from me wearing it 
but uh, overall it's, it did pretty good. The patches um, are from uh, UrbanOpsArmory.com. You can find them on the internet. They, the patch that came in, the British flag patch, came in OD. The stripes actually, the outline stripes. So what you could do is just, you could take a silver marker, silver permanent marker, and just run through the uh, outlines and it'll turn up gray. Which, this was kind of fading a little bit. I need to redo that. Well, this was just fine. Hmm. But, uh, even going along, uh, next I'm going to do um, lower half. Sorry about that. A couple things I forgot to mention was um, the gloves here are tactical, airsoft, hard knuckle, Oakley gloves. They're copies of the Oakley Company um, tactical gloves. They are not the real thing. They're just for airsoft, but they still get the job done. They're pretty um, uh, rough and tough good gloves. They still take attack even though for like a little hole there I got from actually using the gloves and uh, for a shooting range and uh, one little mistake the gloves made was still having the O for the Oakleys in there. No, re no real big deal. Um, also starting on the vest we have a radio. This is a Motorola Fun radio all around radio uh, clamp mountain climbing harness clamp you find one of those that was part of the costume as well also um, <clears throat> there's my voice here now I'm going farther down triple bag pouch everything multicam this is what ghost has in front of them these are rusted I know they're bad. That's why I used them. And this one, the hill's coming off the back. Uh, Ghost has uh, double bag pouches, double stacked, and four bag pouches on the side. A uh, radio pouch. Now this is a radio that I found on eBay.com. Actually, the vest and the pouches, except for the, this one right here. No? Yeah, the, the, yeah. The vest and this um, triple mag pouch are from evic.com. You probably know them. And these three mag pouches are from Urban Ops Armory. Yeah. And I got the radio. This is a dummy radio for airsoft. You keep BBs in it. Um, a little painting for the, uh, for the uh, radio also know this ghost is the radio it's not supposed to hide the uh, thing if you see on ghost his radio his uh, scream thing is showing on the vest and any other vest bright green bright green glowing which I wanted so all you can do is just pull that back and let it show on the side, this actually holds my would be able to hold my wallet and phone in here. That's about really it, uh, for the most part. Um, I know on his um mainly for the other vest, he has other things attached to him like grenades, grenade pouches, uh, EMT pouches, horizontal pouches, which I. It requires a H harness um, H harness system, which I didn't have the time for. I didn't really care for it because of all this loose and tight spaces in the back. So I didn't really worry about that. So um, moving on to down the legs. All right, legs. You have a uh, drop leg pouch uh, double stacked in four pouches this is what ghost uses and it's in multicam yes this however is not 
Multicam. This is a uh, customized uh, holster for my 1911 with a lanyard. I made this, as you see, this is a hard plate. You got sound effect in there. There we go. Sound effect and uh, hard plate with a soft holster. Now I got some spray paint, um, just painted it, whatever. Kind of the color of multicam, but not really. It's kind of a looks like a woodland color. It don't really matter. This would um, hold my 1911 by Dick Sporting Goods. Story's pretty good. With a actually a homemade lanyard adapter. This this app actually is part of a NVG mount for a Pasket helmet that I just took apart, placed it on the side of the. Uh, 1911 and voila the lanyard is done also due to the problems of the mag releases in the magazine um, I fixed it with taping the uh, magazine with some Gorilla Tape should fix that right up because usually the magazine comes out in the holster which is not a really good thing because I don't want to lose my mag anywho uh, or less OD knee pad this is actually this is actually a uh, shaking here <laughs> get some support this is actually ACU knee pad that came with another one I just painted it OD like ghost has and uh, you know you got your multicam pants and also these are the boots Merrells, you can see the bottom, they are Merrells, these are exact same ones that Ghost use, I think they should be, they are comfortable as whatever, they work really good, um, I guess now would be a good time to go over the mask and headset and um, glasses. Now it's time to go over the mask, headset, and glasses. First off, mask. First comes mask, then comes glasses, then comes headset. This will be the final working for the mask. This is a uh, Elements Matrix Contact 1s. Not Contact 2s, Contact 1s. These are the originals. These are Type C headsets. Um, I chose these because Ghost has on a skinny type of headset, not Contact Twos. Contact Twos has that round, has straight then curved outside. Ghost doesn't have that. Ghost has a straightforward headset like these. This is why I chose them. God, I'm getting hot already. This might just kill me. Otherwise, as you can see by the date, it's June, and I'm in North Carolina, and it's very hot. I need to get out of this mask. It's killing me. Oh. <sighs> uh. Okay, guys, this will be the last thing we go review. This will be my weapon, my weapon of choice that I'll be using for a ghost um, costume or cosplay. So, stay tuned. So this is my weapon of choice. M4A1, carbine, silenced, red dot. Flashlight. And with a broken laser. With a uh, Magpul, homemade Magpul, OD green. This is an airsoft gun. Uh, would do pretty good for cosplay, for um, for costume play, for um, actually really anything really. It's a really great gun. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Um, I wanted to do this video so long because no one else on YouTube has done a video this long about the ghost costume, which I plan to do thoroughly and right. Um,
take a lot of thought to this, a lot of planning, and a lot of money, a lot of my money went into this costume. So I hope you like the video. Um, just comment on the video if you like. Um, yeah, so um, thank you very much. This has been my first video, so so long.